Welcome to PVTV Fate and Northern Dick News program. This is Sue and I'm gonna present some Fate and Northern Dick news spread on a social media during this day. It can be seen very clearly that the terrorist military council recruit lobbyists intentionally in order to propagandize fake news and disinformation in a quite mixed variety of ways and means. However, from PVTV and Misinformation Program, we verified the fake news that is being spread by the terrorist military groups, false information mechanism, and present the authentic news. Then let's make some comparison between fake and authentic ones. First and foremost, let's dive into the very first fake news spread by the Terrorist Military Council. GRBLA Telegram Channel, which supports the Military Council, has been spreading misinformation, alleging that the United War State Body UWSA, Gogan Yaman National Democratic Alliance Army, and Yunnan Chinese forces are posing as Ta'ao National Liberation Army TNLA soldiers in Operation 1027. However, independent media reports confirm the Northern Three Brotherhood Alliance has resumed hostilities after a five-month ceasefire breach by the military council within two days. 24 military council camps in Nangchou, Zhao Mei and Mogo were reportedly attacked and captured. Then let's explore another fake news. It said, Now what they knew, a pro star and a military council control has disseminated misleading information via its telegram channel, claiming the military council did not use heavy weaponry in Singai Township, Mandalay region, and that no residents were harmed. Contrary to this, independent media sources have reported that entire villages in Singai Township evacuated due to the military council in discriminate use of heavy weaponry, resulting in civilian displacement. Last but not the least, let's listen to one more fake news for today's program. It's that the Shan State News Telegram channel, known for supporting the military council, is spreading misinformation, alleging that three bridges used by locals were destroyed by mines in a single day in northern Shan State, attributing this act to the revolutionary forces. In reality, military council forces have been known to deploy mines and subsequently blame to the revolutionary forces for such incidents often admits their military setbacks and demining operations. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this program until the end. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video, along with the authentic news verified by PVTV and the misinformation magazine.